uh, it was real neat to watch some of the guys on both sides um, make some of those plays. I thought Gavin Prout's goal was the, the highlight goal of the game, but uh, they were, you know, it was real good. Cody had a nice one too over the back there late. Yeah, and, you know, and these guys are so athletic, scoring from behind the net and, and dunking it. It's incredible. So, you know, this is a showcase of our, our best players in the league, and, and and you know, this is why we are the best league players that are the best league in the in lacrosse. And uh, these guys did a great job. How much coaching do you get to do in a game like this? Zero. <laughs> I just sit and watch. You know, and I, I've said it before. It's the best best seat in the house. You get to watch, and, and you know, guys that we uh, uh, don't get to coach or, or haven't coached in, in previous years or whatever, you get to know them a little bit and get to know, um, you know, just just little things like that. But it's fun. Enjoying being back behind the, the home bench for Buffalo. Well, yeah, I, I spent my my almost my whole entire career here, and then five years with Darius, and it was real fun tonight. You know, to work with. Him again and you know just some things like the, just a couple little things he said to me on the bench and just you know, <laughs> he's one of the he's one of the best coaches around. Hey, you thinking about throwing the flag on that one goal we, we saw a little exchange over by the bench there was there something going on? What was uh, that? Some of the, my son was on the bench with me and, <laughs> and a couple of the guys were telling him to throw the flag and I just told him no we're not throwing the flag. <laughs> not, so we're, just, like, we're here to, to watch the players play. All-star game you know it's an offensive show for a lot of the guys can you talk about you know the goaltenders how bad you feel for them? I think. Huh. 80, 70 shots. Uh, I thought uh, Mikey Thompson was real good. I thought Aaron Bowl was real good. Uh, I felt sorry for Chris Levis because we took, the, took it to him early, and I felt sorry for Royker uh, when they took it to us. So, you know, they face a lot of shots, obviously, um, and, and they're tough shots because they have the best shooters in the league shooting at them. So uh, that's a tough spot, but, you know, they chose to play that position, so that's, onus is on them. <laughs> Was it nice to look over the opposing match and see Chris back at work? Awesome. Yep. Yeah, it certainly was. I, I um, you know, I, I'm, I'm uh, happy to see him, and I'm, I'm glad that he's back and, and recovering and, and things like that. And you know, um, he's an unbelievable person. Uh, you know, great coach. He's, he's did nothing but good for our league, and, and it was just real good to see him. He's, uh, you know, he's a real good guy. A little more uh, Luke and uh, Johnny, they got off to good starts, but then kind of cool off there in the second half. Yeah, you know, they do. Um, I mean, Luke, he was, he, you know, he's, he can score with the best of them. Uh, JT, you know, it, it doesn't surprise me. I, I played alongside him for, for about nine years in the league and, and coached against him. And, and you know, um, I thought his biggest play was, was off the faceoff when Snyder won the faceoff and he came in behind, stripped him, threw the ball up, and he scored. So, I mean, that's what makes him the best player in the league, right? Makes him the best player ever to play the game because he just he's always brings it. And it was real good. Uh, Schneider scored on Roy in the third, and he came out and gave an extra shot. Oh, a little frustrated. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe that might have went back to one of the regular season games. <laughs>